Hello everybody, I've got a little haul video today, only because I went to um, a little craft place that's not very far away from us, and um, it's called Craft Barn, and I think she used to have a shop, and she runs like workshops and different things like that, and anyway, they have a sale once a month on different things, but uh, we was a bit early, so I thought it was half past one it opened, but it wasn't until two, so we then darted to the um cancer research shop and what did i get there i got some buttons so a nice big bag of buttons white ones and cream okay for uh, a pound um, i got some of these were a pound chip scoop things <laughs> which i thought we could decorate and put in the journals okay quite interesting i should have them out now see what they're like It's so funny. They go, what are you going to do with those? So I've got chips in them. <laughs> I said, no, they're going in. I'm going to make pockets. Oh, that's a bit loud. Sorry. I'm going to make pockets out of them. So I don't know what they're like. I might have to... A nice bit of card, if anything else. So, oh, I see. So they go in like that. Yeah. Okay. Got it. And then scoop the chips. But, yeah, I would most probably cut that off. <laughs> Quite big, though. And then um, stitch a, stitch along there and use them as a pocket. So, yeah, they are quite big. Quite um, yeah, good quality ones. Not paper. So, anyway, well, I'll have a bit of fun with those when I I'll do some up. Right, so, that's that. And then I only, the only other two things I got was some wallpaper. So I thought that was actually quite nice. It wasn't two ninety nine; it was a pound. And there's a whole roll there. And that is quite lovely. A very delicate flower on there. It looks very vintage-y. Vintage so that was fine. That was that one. And I got some lining paper. Because lining paper is always brilliant to, to do up. And I quite like the fact that it's got all this on it. I was hoping it might be all the way through. But I doubt it. Let's have a look. Most probably pristine inside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get into it. <laughs> it's funny how we get excited over silly things like that, isn't it? Yes, it will only be just there, but hey ho, that's a nice bit of paper. Don't need that. <laughs> Yeah, lining paper is brilliant to work with, folks. Oops. Okay, that's really nice. So, that. And it's quite good down to put as a backdrop as well. Yeah, and get it in a more manageable piece. Okay, so that was that, was that shop. Then we went to the craft barn, which I have quite a few goodies actually and it was very reasonable right okay let's put this back my little holy it's coming on it's getting starting to get a little bit marked and grunged up that's why i keep using it and i'm not worried about it going over inks or anything because i want it like that right quite a bag full so and all this in this bag cost me 24 pounds okay so all right i did get a book that was only a pound the dearest thing i'll show you first which was this fabric okay that was the most expensive all right so yeah that was a pound and this was this <laughs> english to chinese okay not something that i've um had or anything like that but i quite like all the symbols so that'd be quite nice to use for something different and this look at this wonderful fabric this was four pounds that's half a meter but it's beautiful so i didn't mind it's brand new so yeah and that's lovely that would make some beautiful journals it's beautiful covers yeah so i like that okay 
and the oh, yeah, old bird. And then this one here. This was three pounds. Okay. But again, it's rather gorgeous. So yeah, yeah, and a nice big bit at the top there. Okay, and I thought, well, you're talking of that. I know the bird, I tend to like birds facing the other way, but that's okay. But that will be a journal cover, so there's two out of there. Another two here somewhere, but that'll be on the back. But then we can alter it. I can I can sort things out. And, but anyway, yes, very nice. I like those, like that. So that was the dearest thing. So, you know, when you think, that's sort of like, what? seven pound already isn't it yeah so you take that off for the 24 all right that, oh and the um book so that's eight now we're talking silly money here okay i'll do the stamps because they were a pound these were two for five pounds those they're actually brand new and that one that one was full price Okay, quite like that. Right. So, I use some of that. And these are the, oh yeah, I've got the stamping up. I've got Expresso, which I know I'd use. They had loads of these, but I've just got the ones that I think I would use and soft suede. Yeah. So, I got those. Um, and these were a pound each. got those it's got that one there they're not the biggest stamps i don't think i actually didn't look but i would say they're quite small but I, for for tags or tickets and things like that they're great and that one so that was that then these are like 25 pence 50p oh she did give me those because so i thought oh i like those <laughs> so they're quite into the, these these were 25p and they're the watercolor uh, cure ones which you know is a good make very good brand that's three of those and they're all 25p okay these were 50 pence all these were 50 pence well, that's all watercolors and i think these are about 10 pounds i think per pack something like that but this these all were i think that was a pound as a blending brush right now these are all like 50p and yeah 50 pence i mean look it's not even opened and that's thistle uh pitch black yeah 50p and this for it to be versifying on its back which i use all the time so, um and the rest oh i've got a memento one i think i was 25p there i think i'm building up too near to the screen <clears throat> used to use those in card i've got a set of those but i couldn't resist that for 50p that's for sure all right let's not lose that <laughs> And then these are all like 50p and a pound. But, um, I've got, I don't know, that's full. This one's like three quarter full. What a beautiful colour. I have got, got to use that soon because I think that's lovely. Who's that by? Special touch, that special touch of Micah Miss. So never use that. Never use them. Don't know the company or. And these, but this is. Um, Oh, what's his name? <laughs> Gosh, it does a lot of grungy work. Seth Apter. There we go. I'm sure that he stocks these. So, but like I say, I don't know. It's not his range, I don't think. But yeah, quite a few of those. Um, yeah, dye ink. Um, I mean this. This is alcohol ink, this one. This was full 60. I mean, I'm talking of, I think that was 50 pence. Any of the ones that have been used are 50p. So, 
This is a 3D one. That was 25p look. But fested red. So good for your berries. I think that's the like the 3D. You can do 3D dots. There's another zig one there, look. And another one of those. Oh, got another one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Alcohol based dye stuff ink. So quite interesting. Never used those products before, so I'm actually quite looking forward to that. Yeah, so yeah, you can absolutely phenomenal and silly prices. So like I said, twenty four pounds with fabric. And look at that. Uh, oh gosh, it's over a hundred pounds worth, isn't it? For sure. Right. So yes, let's have the brush and I'll put these back in. These these sort of things I usually use up in um, the home, you know, and these. But I shall leave this set here because I've already got one. So yeah, well, I hope you like that. And um, like I say, I do tend to go for inks and things like that because... I like to pick them up second hand, even if they've been used. But these are, are all shut. That one that might have been opened, but these have always still got the... So they're brand new. Yeah. Oh, that is stunning. Right. So that's the end of that haul. I'll keep that one out because it's opened. And um, thank you very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.